Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got our second anniversary Omnimon playmat along with Agumon and Biomon helping us out. Now why do we have a dinosaur and a bird helping us out? I mean, maybe this is dragon, but Agumon, we're going to call him dinosaur. And that's because today we are looking at the ST18 starter deck Guardian Vortex with a Terramon to Zephagamon, I believe. Um, and we're going to put this one right here in between them because I actually bought two of them because I like to perhaps muddle with one and have another one kept as stock just uh, for that. And like, I will open them both up. I'm not crazy. I don't like to keep them both sealed because that's just a little weird. Um, but a quick note to make before we start really getting into this is that this is, I believe, the fifth uh, box size that they have introduced in the Digimon card game. Uh, fourth in America, fifth overall. Because in Japan, they started out very small, which I like. You can put a lot on the shelf. Uh, it's very compact. It didn't need to be bigger than this. Like, Still, I don't think it needs to be that big. Like, You could have made it a little thicker with the bonus cards and things like that. Um, but other than that, this would have suited just fine. It doesn't offer a lot as far as protection, so if a shipment got dinged on the edge of the box, like, they all would have gotten dinged on that edge of the box. Um, so that was the first one. Then they came over to America, and you got what was our standard size for quite a while. Um, and this one was for at least 12, I want to say. Maybe a little longer. Uh, technically, I believe it was a little fewer than that, because... Uh, the 11th box never came over. Really wish they would bring it over at some point, because uh, it was a bunch of reprints with alternate arts, which was great, but they never brought it over to America. Then, SC12 came along, so yeah, it was 10 of these. Uh, and they gave us these little boxes, which is somewhere in between the two. And then, most recently, they've given us these massive ones, which, again, uh, like, sure, this one, I believe you could have squeezed it into this size, if I'm being honest. Like, the playmat, yeah, that's kind of why this is so big, but folded an extra time uh, each way, and I know it could have fit inside that box size. Um, and then we got this one, which looks very similar in size to this one, but it's actually just a hair shorter and a hair skinnier when it comes to sizing. Like it is not much but it's a little. Um, so if you do keep your decks in some way it is another size to have to worry about. On the bright side however because it is so similar if you do keep them sleeved uh, like this like I keep most of mine sleeved in this kind of way. It fits in pretty gosh darn good. Like, there is a little side to side, but there's a little side to side wiggle for them all. So, it's not terrible. Uh, the tag's a little smaller, so it's a little different. Plus, they put the ST on the other side. So, you can't just look down one side and see it all. So, it is a little different. But you know what? I like that they went back to a smaller form factor. I hope they keep with this one. Uh, I mean, it just looks like it'll work. Because, uh, again, if you want to put a playmat in here, I think you could fit one in if you did, like, two by eight folds. Or two by four. So a total of eight folds, I think it would fit in. Maybe two by six. Or maybe two by eight. Six or eight folds uh, horizontally, I think, would work. So the vertical ones. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's take a quick look. We got the front, which looks very nice, almost mosaic-like. Um, starter deck, Guardian Vortex. You got the top, which is very simple. You got the side, which they're including four types of cards, which, you know what, I like that because for a while they would miss one, uh, leave one out. It was like going back to the Jessamon deck, like they didn't put Tamer cards in there. 
And then they were like, why is no one using Tamers? Well, you didn't put it on the box. So Digimon cards, the GA cards, Tamer cards, option cards, other side, starter deck, 16 types in total, all ready to play 54 card deck. You've got the back, ready to play 54 card deck, one. Promo cards, 103 to 108, six. Play sheet, one. Index cards, three. So maybe the play sheet is the playmat. Don't know. A uh, bunch of stuff about it. we have got the Sad Onion. Warning Choking Hazard. Small parts. Not for children under three years old. Uh, some recycling stuff. And then 16 plus 6 types in total. 5 commons. 5 uncommons. 3 rares. 3 super rares. 6 promo cards. I disagree with this. I disagree with this hard. And the reason why is because, yes, you can make them foil. You can make them look super rare. But they're coming in the starter deck. Everyone's getting one. They're not super rare. Um, Sure, make them foil. Do that. But don't make them called super rare. Because there is no world where you are going to be able to trade the uh, uh, Zephyrgamon from this deck with the one that comes out in Digimon Liberator set. That is not an equal trade, because you could just go out and buy this one. Like, there's... That's, again, like a hindrance for the local stuff. I would would not call them super rares. So let's get into it. Also, the bottom is just green. Forgot to show that off. There we go. It's open. And there's the lid. We got a piece of paper here. Looks like a tray that you can pull it out. A little stuck. There we go. All right. Not missing anything else in there. This one we'll put off to the side. And you do get a playmat. So great. They do put a playmat in here. Let's take a look at that first because it's right up front and center. Okay. They make the mistake of putting how to play on the back of this. Like, yes, they put game flow down there, but all the instructions are on the back. Um, And the problem with that is that if you're playing and you've got all your cards down, you need to figure out how to play. You can't lift this up without destroying the field. Because I could have all my cards down here and then I need to know what to do. I can't lift this up. So that is, that is a problem. Um, that said, I do like the artwork on this one. I kind of wish it was what the front of the box was. I wish it was that, because that is a very nice look at artwork. Um, this, it's nice. I think it could be better. Again, don't like this. They should have definitely gone back to the cards. Um, those work really well. These cards just... Put these in, put these four cards in, forget the back of it, so that I don't have to worry about ruining the game when I forget how to do something. Especially with this counter timing. Like, this is this is a thing now where it's like, Blastage Evolution. Can I do that? Looking that up, like, uh, I shouldn't have to ruin the game state to look at that. So now we got the deck. Are these tokens? Did they give us tokens in here? Because if you remember, this is the back of the tokens from the second box. Is that what this is? No, it's keywords. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. That is awesome. Um, I love that they did this. Because like I said, uh, I used to play Hero Clicks. They gave us one of these with all the starter sets, and that way I knew what was going on. This is amazing. Big kudos having all of them on here. Uh, my only real problem with this is well, I got two problems. Uh, the first one being it should be in alphabetical order. Uh, like, I know that security attacks are. The most common, and we're kind of going from there, I imagine. 
but it would have just made it so much more sense to put them in alphabetical order so that I can say, this one says security attack plus one. What does it do? And I could just go to S and be like, oh, that's what it does. As opposed to now where it's like, uh, Digistortion. Where is Digistortion? Uh, overclock, dis, uh, Digistortion. Yeah. Uh, that's not it. Uh, uh, the Digivolve, Blast Digivolution. It's just like looking it over, trying to find it. Like maybe that was Digistortion. I'm looking for the one where you like put stuff back in your or you like you trash it. Was that Digiburst? Like it's, it really should just be in alphabetical order. Yeah, Digiburst. So yeah, it's just, it's going to take a while to find them, and it should be in alphabetical order. That would make it so much easier, so much simpler, but kudos for at least making this. This is something that I've been asking for for a while. I actually had made a foldout uh, that I was going to make a video for, just being like, this is what they should do. But lo and behold, they did it, so I don't have to do that. Uh, let's see, the six final cards look like they are the specials. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to put these right off here. I liked it when they put them in their own little band, but whatever. So let me take a quick sip of water and we'll get right into this. Okay. So starting off, we got our four Digi Eggs of Fluffymon. Uh, we saw him in the base set. I didn't realize that he is he's pre-evolved. Uh, so, let's see. Inherited effect. When attacking once per turn, you may suspend one other Digimon with as much or less DP as this Digimon. All right. So, that's when attacking. You can suspend something. That could come in handy with their abilities. Uh, you could suspend something on your field, because we saw from the packs themselves, some of them like that. Next up, we are looking at rookies. And starting off, we have four copies of Beomon. Look at that. I didn't even know that she was in here. She's so a three play cost, one Digivolution cost, 3,000 DP. Has the Fortitude ability, no Inherited ability. Fortitude is when the Sigimon would Digivolve. With Digivolution cards is deleted, play this card without paying the cost. This is great for a rookie, because with an egg underneath it, if it gets destroyed, you're just removing the egg. I like that. Uh, pretty good. We get four copies in there. Next rookie we get is Falcomon, and we get four copies of him. He's a 3 play cost, 0 Digivolution cost, 2,000 DP. Active effect of when attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. No inherited effect. We got Beelmon down there again. Neat. Again, this one's all right. Um, this ability, like, it's kind of a kamikaze because he's only got a 2,000 body. So if he's swinging into security, unless it's an option card, this guy's going down. Because... Uh, Nothing is, like, there's a couple rookies that are weak enough, but 95% of all cards that he would pick off in the security stack, he's going to die against. And then we have two copies of Terramon, uh, who is a three play cost, zero digital blue cost, 1,000 DP. On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one card with the avian or bird, in any of its traits, and one card with the Vortex Warriors or Liberator trait among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Inherited effect, your turn. This Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. I mean, great searcher. You're definitely going to want to buy two decks for it. Kind of scummy that they made it that way, but I can understand. Um, I just wish it wasn't Terramon with his searching ability. Like, put it on Falcomon, for example, uh, just so that you can have something else in there. Like, I get it, but I don't have to like it. 
Our final rookie is Mukumon. He is a three play cost, zero to devolution cost, 1000 DP, all turns once per turn. When it affects suspends this Digimon, one of your Digimon with avian or bird in any of its traits or the vortex warrior trait gets plus 3000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. Uh, inherited effect, piercing. So yeah, both very good. And this is one of the uh, effects that we were talking about where perhaps you'd want to suspend one of your own. Also, just got to check because I forgot to, but this, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, so, so far we have seen all original cards. There hasn't been uh, a reissue or an alternate art, I suppose, because I know in some decks they do that. So maybe this is an entirely new deck. That'd be pretty interesting. I could see it if they're trying to make support for it because this one didn't really exist before with this support. Next up, we got four copies of our first champion, Kiwimon, which again, specific for the star deck, three play costs, two digital cost, costs, 3,000 DP. On play or on deletion, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, no inherited effect rule has the vegetation type. Interesting. Um, it has bird, so it would work for searching. This is probably one of the ones where like, I would swap it out. Like, I don't need four copies of this. Uh, if I buy two decks, this one's probably going to come out. Uh, with the rookies, who would I take out? I'd probably take out two of the Beomon to put two of the Terramon in. Just because, again, the Beomon, it's... Fortitude is great, but it can only have one card underneath it. Eh. Then we got four copies of Kokorimon. Again, this is another original... For this deck, four play costs, two digital costs, 4,000 DP. Has the blocker ability, inherited effect, piercing again. Um, yeah, I like this. I like the blocker. Like, it just makes it better. Like, this one, again, I'd probably take it out. I do like having some blocker. I might put it down to two and put some other stuff in. Um, but I do like blocker and I do like piercing. Those are both good abilities. If we could find one with jamming, that'd be just great. Then we got our last champion with two copies of Galemon. Six play costs, two to cost, 6,000 DP. Security, you may play one card with Liberator trait and a play cost of four or less from your hand or trash without paying the cost. Uh, has the Vortex ability, which is at the end of your turn. The Sigimon may attack an opponent's Sigimon. With this effect, it can attack the turn it was played. And Inherited Effect, your turn. This Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. So with its previous form, uh, an Ultimate would get plus 4,000. Um, I like the Security Effect. I like that it has an extra effect on it. Um, Vortex, I don't know how much I'm going to use it on a 6,000 body. If we can pump it up to the 8,000 with the Terramon, then yeah, that'd be a little better of a body. But yeah, this one's good. I like the Searching. Next up, we've got the Ultimates, starting with four copies of Daramon. He's got six play costs, three Jivalution costs, 7,000 DP, has the blocker ability. Uh, on deletion, you may play one Digimon card with avian, bird, vegetation, or plant in any of its traits and 3,000 DP or less from your hand without paying the cost. Uh, no inherited effect rule has the vegetation type this one again I'm probably gonna pull out because we've already got blockers in the champions. Why do I need blockers in the ultimates like? Uh, it's just it's not good enough for me to feel to keep it in um, The on deletion is all right, but it's 3,000 or less so not too much that I can play with But again, this is a starter deck. So I expect there to be some Room for improvement. Then we've got two copies of Grand Galmon, who's a seven play cost, three Digivolve cost, 7,000 DP. On player, when Digivolving, suspend one Digimon. If this effect suspended your Digimon, you may play one Digimon card with avian or bird in any of its traits uh, for and 3,000 DP or less 
from your hand without paying the cost. Inherit effect, your turn, once per turn. When this Digimon attacks your opponent's Digimon, this Digimon may unsuspend. Uh, and this is another original, like, we've only seen originals. I'm going to point out if something is a, from a different set, but this one's good. Uh, I feel like it could be improved upon, but you know what? That's what started X are for. And then our next ultimate, which is actually our last ultimate, is we got four copies of Parrotmon. Whoop. That one was a card that stuck to the back. Huh. Uh, he has a seven play cost, three digit blue cost, 7,000 DP. On play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then uh, one of their Digimon can't unsuspend until the end of their turn. Inherited effect, piercing. I like piercing. I feel like we're getting a little too much of it in this deck. Like, throw in another ability, but I guess it's supposed to be very uh, aggressive. So that's fine. And being able to suspend your opponent's Digimon and then attack into them, have the piercing to go through to their security, that's pretty good. Then our next... Uh, then our... Then our Mega, because these were, yeah, our first Mega we got is two copies of Zephagamon. Zephagamon. Uh, 11 play cost, 3 digital blue cost, 11,000 DP. Has the Vortex ability, um, which allows it to attack. Uh, at the end of our turn, so uh, it can even attack the turn of his play. I'm just going to read it. <laughs> Uh, Vortex, at the end of your turn, this Digimon may attack an opponent's Digimon. With this effect, it can attack the turn it was played. When Digivolving, suspend one Digimon, then unsuspend one Digimon. All turns, once per turn, when any Digimon unsuspends for the, for the turn, this Digimon isn't affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon and gets plus 3000 DP, uh... Trait or rule trait has bird dragon type. This one's pretty good, and again, like it should be, it's supposed to be the main boss. They only gave us two of us because they want us to buy a second deck to round it out. Uh, but yeah, I like this one, it's a good boss monster, like it's got a lot of things going for it. The vortex is nice. Um, we get to suspend and unsuspend, which will proc his next ability. So that all works together. Question is, they give us four other Megas. Do we take them out and put in two more of him? And they gave us four copies of Eaglemon. He is a 12 play cost, 4 digital blue cost, 12,000 DP. Has the Fortitude ability. And uh, on player, when Digivolving, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the hand. Yeah, this guy's probably going to come out. Uh, I don't think that it is good enough to stay in the deck, like, especially when we could put two more copies of the other one in here, like, like, sure, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the hand, that's nice, but it's not the bottom of the deck, so they can just play it back out. Like, sure, it might cost them a bit of memory, but they probably want to put that back out. Now we've got the Tamers. We've got Four copies of Shoto. Uh, he's a four play cost. Start of your turn if you have two memory less, set to three. Again, I love that ability. The ones from the Liberators set kind of got me a little more, but this one's also good. Uh, four copies is too much, for my opinion. Your turn. When any of your Digimon attack your opponent's Digimon by suspending this Tamer, you may change the attack target to another of your opponent's Digimon or player. Security, play this card without paying the cost. Okay, so it doesn't say uh, that other Digimon has to be suspended. So I'm guessing you could attack unsuspended, because otherwise, what's the point? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you could attack an unsuspended with this ability. I'm thinking yes, but I haven't gone to tournaments, so maybe I'm wrong. Again, too many copies. Put them down to two. Put in a different tamer. 
Then we got our option cards, starting out with four copies of uh, this and know me embrace it is a five play cost main suspend one digimon if this effect suspended your digimon return one of your opponents suspended digimon to the bottom of the deck then unsuspend one digimon security uh return one of your opponents suspended digimon to the bottom of the deck this is beautiful i like it a lot especially with how much green likes to suspend things you could throw some other uh, stuff in here make it so that they could suspend a lot and then use these to just put back their big boss monster uh, to the bottom of their deck so they kind of have to cycle through it four copies seems like a lot but if you could do it four times to their big boss monster like oh that is that's terrible for them i enjoy this one i think that's a good one to have in there and then the last option card we got our two green memory boosts. We have seen this one before. Uh, I don't think I have to read it. Um, basically, you play it. You search the top of your deck. Uh, and then you get it played out. Uh, then on delay, you can gain two memory. Security, play this card in the battle area. Not going to read the entire thing. If you want to, you can pause here and do that. So there is the main deck. Uh, however, we still have... The bonus cards to look at and something i wanted to do which is a little different than normal is because we just got the liberator set out i pulled out across or i pulled out uh the cards from the line of liberator from that set uh and one other card and we could see like would we put these cards in would that make the deck better so starting off with terramon three play costs again these don't come in the box these are from the sets so this part is outside, just quick uh, kind of improvement to the deck. Three play costs, zero Digivolution costs, 1,000 DP. Your turn when this Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon card with avian or bird in any of its traits. Reduce the Digivolution cost by one. Inherited effect, all turns, once per turn, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, gain one memory. Should it go in the deck? Yes, that is very easy to like kind of decide. I think it would work very well. Uh... Going under the immediate, like, we're going to improve this deck. Uh, we've got... I would take out probably the four copies of Beomon to put in two more copies of him. And take out two copies of the Falcomon to put in two more copies of this uh, Terramon. So that would take us to about here. So next up... We got the champion Galemon. Four play costs, two Digivolution costs, 4,000 DP. When Digivolving, if you have one or fewer Tamers, you may play one Shoto from your hand without paying the cost. Inherited effect, all turns once per turn. When a Digimon is, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, gain one memory. So this is a hard one because it's when you have one or fewer Tamers. So it's only going to work when you have zero tamers or one tamers for its main ability. So I would probably only put two copies of it in the deck personally. Uh, and let's see. Again, we are going to take out... Uh, I'd probably take out all four copies of Kokorimon. Like two copies for the this Galemon... Two copies for that Galemon, giving us a total of six Galemons in the deck. Because um, this one's got blocker, and we can keep this one in, maybe. That's my immediate thought. We got Grand Galemon. Seven play costs, three Digivolution costs, 7,000 DP. Has the Vortex ability. Uh, and then, when Digivolving, you may suspend one Digimon. If this effect suspends one your Digimon... This Digimon isn't affected by effects of your opponent's Digimon until the end of their turn. Inherited effect, your turn once per turn. When this Digimon attacks an opponent's Digimon, this Digimon may unsuspend. So yeah, this one definitely would want four copies of. Uh, so let's see, what would we take out from here? We've got... There we go. So we got... These cards. Um, I would probably take out two copies of Daramon. 
to put in two more copies of Grand Galemon, take out all four copies of Parrotmon to put in uh, the Grand Galemon. Maybe I might switch it up and take out three Daremons and three Parrotmons just so that I could keep one blocker and one more with piercing in there, just in case the other piercings get taken out. But that's what I think uh, I would have put in for that. Next, we got uh, Ziffer Gumon. 12 play cost, 40 cost, 12,000 DP. Yes, I am using the alternate art. We pulled it. Might as well use it for this. Uh, security attack, plus one and vortex. Uh, when digivolving, when attacking, suspend one Digimon. If this effect suspended your Digimon, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of the deck. Trait has bird dragon type. Yes, this one's going to go in. Uh, it fits with a theme. Let's see. We got six. Um, I mean, just immediate thought would be to go like three and three is my immediate thought. Because, um, I mean, this one can suspend one Digimon, then unsuspend one Digimon. All turns once per turn when any Digimon unsuspends for the turn. This Digimon isn't affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon and gets plus 3,000 DP. I think they're both, like, fairly even in their abilities. Both, uh, Zephyr, Zephyr Gumon. So I probably would go 3 and 3 just to keep that together. Now, we've got the Tamers. Jen, we've got four copies um, of this one, which is start of your turn. If you are like, right, we've already gone over this. I don't need to. <laughs> we saw this one, and the one tamer that we got from the set is three play costs, your main phase. Uh, if your opponent has a Digimon, gain one memory. End of your turn, by suspending this tamer, one of your Digimon gains piercing and blocker until the end of your opponent's turn. If it has the Vortex Warriors trait, uns it unsuspends. Security, play this card without paying the cost. Uh, yeah, I am going to take out two copies of this, put this one in there, no questions asked. Like this one, uh, like I said, I don't like having more than if you have two memory or lesses. This one's cheaper. It's going to basically do the same thing, uh, giving us a memory. Like, not the exact same thing, but you get the idea. I do have one more tamer to look at, though, and that is... This one, uh, the promo one, this one came from the Evolution Cup. You could also get it from the movies. Um, so I figured, let's take a look at this one. Three play cost. On play, you may play one Terramon from your hand without paying the cost. Your turn, once per turn, when any of your Digimon digivolves into Digimon with Avian or Bird in their traits, by suspending this Tamer, gain one memory. Security, play this card without paying the cost. Eh, I don't think that it's terribly good. I think that this one... Could stay out we could do the two and two and that'd be fine so before we look at these i did forget to pull out the uh option cards and i didn't realize that fluffymon was his baby form so i'm gonna pause real quick we'll get those out see how those would stack up and we will be right back i know this video is going long but i want to be thorough so just one moment okay i am back uh so let's take a look at the option card from the set, which is uh, Wind Slicer, two play cost, main. You may suspend one level six or lower Digimon. If this effect suspended your Digimon, one of your Digimon unsuspends. Security, activate this card's main effect. I like that. Would I replace either of these with it? I, I don't know. I might swap just one out, maybe? Like, I do like the idea of just getting rid of opponent's Digimons a lot. I don't think I would get rid of Green Memory Boost. I like Green Memory Boost a lot. Uh, I put it in lots of my decks. It's a pretty good staple. I might look at taking out two Digimons somewhere in the deck to make room for two copies of this. Because I do like it. I do think it would fit the deck. Uh, I don't know about taking out any of these option cards. So... Let's take a look at the Fluffymon from this set. Um, inherited effect, your turn once per turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, gain one memory. 
You know what? That works super well with how the deck is. Uh, I would probably put in maybe four copies of this and put in one copy of this one, honestly. No, you know what? I would probably do two and three. I'd probably do more of an even match because I do like that when it attacks, you can suspend either an opponent's or one of yours to activate some extra effects. So I'd probably do three and two. I specifically didn't pull this one out partially because I didn't realize it was part of the line, but also because I'm pretty sure the Schumann one doesn't have the pre-evolution in the set. So I wanted to keep it even there. But with that all out of the way, let's take a look at the six bonus cards we got. We got Offensive Training, which is a two-play cost. Uh, main, reveal the top two cards of your deck. Add one red card among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Then place this card in the battle area. Main delay by trashing this card. Uh, after the turn placing it, activate the effect. One of your Digimon may Digivolve into a red Digimon card in the hand. Uh, with the Digivolution cost reduced by two. Alright. And then... We got the Mental Training, which is the same for blue. Same idea. Uh, and they've all got Security Places card in the battle area. Uh, we got the Physical Training, again, same but for yellow. Agility Training, same but for green. Uh, defensive Training, same but for black. And Wisdom Training, same but for purple. I'm really liking the looks of these. Uh, my only problem with them, I think, is that you got Terramon in all of them, while Schumann is only in three of them. And I'm guessing that they are not going to give us other alternate arts for the uh, other starter. So I would have really liked to have seen like either an even split or both of them throughout each one. That just kind of seems off. But these are good ones to get. I still don't think they're as good as the memory boosts. Because, like, you're only getting to look at the top two cards. Um, so that's a little weak. And then on a future turn, you can reduce the Digivolution cost by two. Also a little weak. So, yeah. Not my favorite, but I am glad that they gave us some alternate arts for those cards. With that, we've gone through the entire box. And kind of looked at a quick way of how I would improve the deck a bit just by like pulling in cards from the sets uh before we head out as always we like to do some pack openings and i still have two packs of secret crisis so we're going to open one here and we'll one open another one next time when we look at the fable waltz deck so let's get this one open and see what we got Starting off, we got C. Uh, Sharman, Mephistomon, Agumon, Mermukamon, Beowulfmon, Aldemon, Bulkmon, which we could put in either deck because it is yellow green. I wouldn't. Uh, Codecracker Fang, Manoa Baluchi, Ancient Garden Deity, Marcus Damon. Uh, four play costs on play until the end of your opponent's turn. One of your Marcus Damon is also treated as a 3,000 DP Digimon. Can't Digivolve and gains Blocker. All turns, while this tam when this Tamer is suspended, one of your Digimon gets plus 3,000 DP for the turn. If you have a Digimon with Agumon or Greymon in his name, it gains one. you gain one memory. Security, play this card without paying the cost. And we got... Davis and Ken. Five play costs. Start of your turn if you have two memory or less, set to three. All turns, when one of your level five or higher free trait Digimon would be deleted in battle by suspending this tamer, you may play one level four or lower Digimon card from that Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. Uh, end of your turn, one of your free trait Digimon may attack an opponent's Digimon. Security, play this card without paying the cost. You know, if... If our big guys were free traits, which they are not, they are data types, 
If they were free, that'd be like a perfect one to go in there to kind of stop them from being deleted again. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. So we didn't pull anything from that pack that we could put in the deck. I didn't really expect to, but you know what? We got to do some pack openings. It's got to happen. Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, please do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Uh, the algorithm loves it. We upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And as always, until then, I will see you next time.